race. And these chicks running around thinking that they got more degrees than, than Asian American women. Motherfuckers <laughs> tell you that they're white women. It's, 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 it's bonkers to think that, but they think that because that's how you, you know what I'm saying? When you, Let's see this one. The final moments of a North Las Vegas pastor's life captured on video is now revealed in a newly filed wrongful death lawsuit. This is the woman accused of killing the pastor, his next door neighbor, Joe Junio. She is now charged with murder, attempted murder and child abuse. Fox News Kim Pass off this live tonight with the details behind those charges. And the pastor's wife, who was also shot that day, filed this 13 page complaint wrongful death lawsuit seeking an unspecified amount of damages, sharing with the world what happened that day that her husband's life was taken allegedly by an angry neighbor. This is a screenshot from a video taken by one of the pastor's children, ages 12 and 15, from inside the family's car as their father, 46 year old Nick Davy, was shot and killed in front of them. Their mother, Sarah, shot moments later, survived. Your mind just can't process that. Fellow pastor of Grace Point Church, Ty Neal, says the family was terrorized for weeks by their neighbor to the point that they had left their home and were staying elsewhere. Neal, who lives nearby, heard the shots that day. I heard some, some pops. It happened December 29th on Lookout Lodge Lane, inside the gated court of Aliante, a community of townhomes. Court documents say the neighbor confronted the pastor and his family in front of his home after he made complaints about her to their homeowners association. The lawsuit alleges the HOA then told her about those complaints. Though the lawsuit does not name the HOA, it says, quote, the homeowners association knew or should have known that defendant would likely perform violent actions against deceased and plaintiff as a result of ongoing association dispute. Wow. So this fucking glider got chased out of his home by this woman. This woman made this glider man and his family move. Get out the way. He moved his family and still got smoked by the chick. Man, he, he probably deserved it. He's probably being a Karen. He's probably complaining to the HOA that uh, she's eating too much pag pag. That's what I told you. You don't want this Filipino third world monkeys going over there in the United States because it will kill uh, Glider May. It will, it will kill. And um, I remember. Um, Umbrito, uh, what's his name? Um, what's the name of our Umbrito panelist? <laughs> he said that oh, Filipino. Oh, wicked, wicked. Fruit picker. Wicked, yes. Fruit picker. Yes. Wicked. Wicked is saying that we're afraid of, of the summon. We're afraid of the glider man. That's cow shit. We're not afraid of anyone. That Filipino woman is crazy. That's why I told you I don't like immigration. We're sending the crazy people from here. <laughs> Yeah, she gunned that guy down in front of the kids and everything. Look at her stance. She's she she like just shot that guy that killed his ass. Damn. Glider man. I don't know, Iconic. I Iconic. I might have to disagree with you on that because I think the uh, Filipinos are like what the second or third highest earners in the United States. Yes, they but do. they are still Filipinos. They these Filipinos that uh, goes in the U.S. are the ones. Who are failing horribly here in the Philippines? That's why they want to go elsewhere, and they bring their attitude like that over there in the United States. That's what I'm telling you. That's why I don't like immigration oh. at all. So you're saying you're saying immigration. the you're saying the bad ones are making it out to the United States, not like the smarter ones. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Why would you go elsewhere if you can make it here? Make that make sense? Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm doing okay mm. here. I'm here. Why do I need to go there? You tell me the answer to that. Why would you need to go 
to, you know, to the United States if you can make it here? I mean, isn't it a better standard of living in the United States? There's no immigrants come here for it to begin with? No. For a better standard of living? No, I don't think so. You should listen to me because I have family members in the United States. I have family members in Canada. They are not doing better here. That's why they are there. Oh, Believe so you're me. saying that it's a, it, it's a myth, man, to, that uh, everybody comes over here and does great. Like, that's just like we're just seeing certain cases, right, of successful Filipinos. But the average, the, the average Filipino is not doing that well. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Mm. So well, Jer Jerry Judge Hines, man, he says, keep up the great work. Akan Nation Acolytes. Black women will destroy America. It's sad, but quite fitting. That one will probably take down Trump. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the one in New York, Letitia or Fanny. Yeah, it's a lot of sisters on Trump's ass, man. Um, and that damn Stacy, Stacy Abrams is about to come out the woodwork now because it's election season. The lawsuit also claims that Junio did not have a license or permit to carry a firearm. They believe that she borrowed it from someone. They intend to track that someone down and sue them as well. Reporting live tonight, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. A GoFundMe for the family has reached $89,000. It has a $100,000 goal. You can find a link on our website at foxonews.com. Glenn Andre, fantastic. Go See, their son, Chris. He did that one, man. Yeah, man. Salute everybody, man. Um, it's been a great show, man. The ox that needs some sleep, man. I am burning it on both ends of the candle, man. Ox that needs some sleep. Hopefully the baby comes um, soon, man. Um, uh, but uh, we'll take it day by day, man. The ox, man, is tired. Man, I'm falling out right now. Great show, guys. Same black time, same black channel. Out, out of here. Peace out. Peace.